Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Amar Afiq bin Haji Rasul. I am student of Diploma Haji and Umrah Management from Innovative International College. My metric number is 2020.09.022.dhumy. To complete an individual assignment of tourism, culture and heritage subject, I present to you this video. Today, I would like to introduce you to a very unique, special, interesting. Just name it and this place will offer you everything. The perfect destination for you to learn and enjoy at the same time. It's the biggest state in Malaysia, which is... Which is... Sarawa, or also known as Bumi Kenyalang. Sarawak is one of the two Borneo state in Malaysia. You can do everything in Sarawak. This state is famous for its indigenous culture and traditions. Biodiversity has spot like the forest, cave, wildlife, mountain, and beaches as well as a modern city that you can explore. If you are interested with what this state had offered to you, but you are free that you cannot do all of it in certain day of staying, do not panic. From now on, I will get you to the places that you should be visiting the next time you are planning to go to Sarawak. Oh ha! Oh ha! Oh ha! Let's go to the places. Firstly, if you are interested in learning about the indigenous culture and tradition, Sarawak is definitely a right place. There are 25 good ethnic groups such as Orang Mulu, Orang Iban, Orang Bidayu, and etc. With 45 different dialects in Sarawak. Each group has its own unique story, belief, tradition, and culture. Center is the most obvious sign cultural uniqueness that has existed here is the famous Borneo Longhouse. Borneo Longhouse usually built on steel and still in use. The place that you should go to learn about this culture and tradition is the Sarawak Cultural Village, which is located in Kuching. In this village, you will not only learning, but you could also mingle and stay with the villagers to experience the real culture of the indigenous people of Sarawak. Next, if you are interested in biodiversity or spot like forests, Keep wildlife, mountain, and beaches. This land of Hornby is a great destination. There are a lot of national parks that you could go located in Sarawak. For an example, Gunung Mulu National Park, Bako National Park, and Nia National Park. This national park offers different types of attraction. Moreover, Sarawak also known for a variety of tropical beaches that make ideal spot for the 
relaxing, snorkeling in the warm sea, and sharing a romantic moment with the special someone. Some beaches that you should go include Sematan Beach, Hawaii Beach in Mulu, in Miri, sorry, and Tanjung Batu Beach in Bintulu. These beaches offer a beautiful scenery that you will not experience in other places. As an explorer myself, I would like to recommend you to explore Kuching, which I believe will be beyond your expectation. An example, the old courthouse. It is one of the most fascinating architectural fusion in Malaysia with uh, a colonial style between religion, culture, and modern architecture. In addition, there are also many historical places that you can enjoy in Sarawak. For instance, Sir'at and Mural in Kuching. And when you tired taking picture, you can go to Kaiju Cafe. This cafe not only serve delicious and stawarty food, but you can also enjoy the vibe with chilling music on the background. In a conclusion, let's come and visit Sarawak. This is all for today. I hope you enjoy this video and will hopefully help you to get to know more about places in Sarawak. If you have any question, feel free to drop a comment below. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.